Hi, this is going to be a multi-part series about turning an Android tablet into a car stereo head unit. <clears throat> this particular one that I'm doing is going to be used on a Yamaha Wolverine X2 side-by-side -side utility vehicle. Um, it is already presenting some interesting uh, things I've come across that I'm going to share with you today. This can be adapted for a car stereo as well as what I'm doing on this side-by-side. -side. The most important thing and the first thing you're going to have to do is pick out a tablet to use. Um, it sounds pretty simple, but it's not. Um, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find a tablet that supports OTG cables, or they call them on-the-go. The problem with that is, is that the OTG specification is kind of multi-part. Um, most tablets will offer you OTG capability, but not the full spec. And what I mean is, is that this particular tablet, which so far is the only 10-inch tablet I've found that meets all the criteria that we need, and I'll, I'll start off by telling you that this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab A that came out in 2019. It's the 10.1 inch. And it's also known under Samsung's part number or model number as SM-T510. T510. This is the only one that I found that will, will currently work. Um, most of your tablet manufacturers can't be trusted as far as telling you specifications as I have called Lenovo, Samsung, and others and spoken to their technical departments and the information they have given me has been completely untrue and incorrect. Um, in fact, I was told that this tablet would not do OTG to the full spec. Uh, but I was told their new tablet would, which doesn't. So here we go. An OTG cable is basically a cable that will plug into your tablet's charging port, in this case USB-C, and then on the other side it splits your charging port and your USB port. What this allows you to do is it allows you to run a USB hub, USB peripherals, you know, all kinds of USB accessories on your tablet. And we're going to need that in order to change this into a head unit. The problem is that while most of your tablets will provide you with USB charging, the important thing that you need the most is a tablet that's capable of not only the USB plug, but also you're able to plug your charger in and charge the tablet while you're using the USB accessories. Otherwise, the USB accessories will put a drain on your battery pretty quick and the tablet will die. So that is why it's important that you find one that's got a full OTG spec, which is OTG and simultaneous charging. That's where you're going to run into a problem. Almost every tablet does OTG, but this is the only one I could find that would do simultaneous charging. And I find it funny that Samsung had that feature in 2019, and then in the 2020 new version, they took the charging circuit out that allows you to do OTG and simultaneous charging. So anyway, so this is the only tablet I've found so far that's capable of this. Now, here's where you run into your next problem. I think this adapter was $7. Here's one that's a 3 USB hub. Um, it is micro USB, but you just put a USB-C converter on it and you can plug it in. And that's great because it's OTG in that. Here's the problem. The problem is when you plug it in, okay, and we'll plug in, I'll just plug in a flash drive. It will find your flash drive and your flash drive works and the tablet is powering the flash drive. So then you can take your charging cable and plug it into the other port. And if everything goes correctly, you'll see that your tablet starts to charge while it's powering the USB device. This is where it gets funky because not all USB OTG cables actually work. They all claim that they will work, but they're very, very picky as far as which actual devices they work with. Now, 
the the devices that do the OTG and charging, most of your higher end Samsung phones with um, 4G LTE capability, most of those will do the charging. But for what I'm using it for, where it's going to be mostly off-road use in the woods, there's no Wi-Fi, there's no phone signal. So having all of that is kind of a waste. And the difference is that I picked this up for $239.00. Whereas if I picked up the LTE version, we're talking six, seven hundred dollars, different models. You might be able to get them a little bit cheaper, but that's not what you're going to need if you're going out in a side by side in the woods. Now, as you can see, after I plug this in, it's not charging it, even though this is advertised as charging it. Now we can take the other one and plug it in. Okay, and we can plug in the USB drive. And this one, let's see, come on. We might need the other charger on this one, the micro USB charger. We'll plug the micro USB charger in here. Okay, so the micro USB charger is plugged in, and we'll power this up. Okay, so there you can see the USB flash drive is lit up, but again, it's not charging. Now, I have found that these OTG cables, now this one has a switch for OTG and charging or just charging. Now, if we flip it to just charging, it's erratic. Sometimes it'll charge, sometimes it won't. Um, but these cables, like I said, six, seven, eight bucks to find one that actually works. Now the first one we used, what I have noticed is sometimes if I plug in the power first, plug in the flash drive and then plug it into the tablet. Sometimes that will start the charging circuit. There it goes. The charging circuit just turned on. Now, unfortunately, that is not going to cut it when you're in a car and you're turning the key off and on. And, you know, it's just not going to cut it. So I've yet to find one of these little cheap items that works 100%. This one was the best of the cheap ones that I found. Now, here's where you run into your next problem. Your next problem is, okay, you've got this in your car. You're using it as a car stereo head unit. You have your OTG cable connected, you have all your USB accessories connected, and you shut the car off and you leave. Well, the minute you shut the car off and you kill the power to the charging cable, the tablet itself is going to start to power all your accessories. So if you have an AM FM tuner, an, out, an external GPS, um, a, a video device, uh, or, or anything else, they're all going to still be drawing power off your tablet. And your tablet is going to go dead in no time. So that's the, the next problem. So now you've, you've figured out a tablet that works with OGT, OG T cable. All right. So now we're at the next phase. And this is where probably the most expensive accessory you're going to buy is. This is from a company called Lava Computers. This is the Sync C VC3U. It's actually a commercial device that they would use in kiosks, um, restaurants that use tablets. And it's a pretty neat little device, a little expensive. By the time you pay for shipping, they're in Canada. By the time you pay for shipping and all, you're going to be somewhere around $100, $125 for this box. But this box really is what you need. Now, like this other one, okay, it is an OTG device with a USB hub in it. It's got three ports, just like this one does. It's got your charge in port and your port out to your phone, USB-C. Now, this particular one is one of the higher end models where it also has a 12 volt input. So you can put the input 
from your 12 volts from your car side by side or wherever we're going to use this on you can put it in and it is automatically going to power the USB-C charging port as well as the USB hub and as well as all the devices connected to this now where the good part comes in is when the power is removed from this unit it will not let all the USB peripherals take power from the tablet the tablet will just stay on its own so it, it you're not going to run your battery down it can't drag your battery down it's just not going to happen so what you end up with in this case is you end up with exactly what you need you end up with um, you have a charging circuit for your tablet and you have your three USB ports which I wish it had four there is a model above it that has five but it also includes a lot of other features and the price goes up um, I also didn't want to go much bigger than this. Uh, so this, we're going to see if we can only do it with three USBs. If we have to, we can stick a small USB hub on it to get more, more inputs into it. But I think we might be able to get away with just three peripherals on this one. Okay. Um, now, since we're going to be using this outdoors, no Wi-Fi, no no cell signals so you can't use your phone as a hotspot everything has to remain independent so we want an AM FM radio we want a GPS that works without cell phone towers or cell signals or Wi-Fi and of course we want media player we want to be able to play you know mp3s or whatever files we want as well as play movies we, we want it to pretty much cover it now I'm also going to want to put a backup camera on this so that when I'm connecting to the tow hitch or just seeing behind me, I want to be able to make all of that function. So we'll get into that a little later. Um, the first video was basically just what you need to pick out for a tablet, how you need to make sure you have that OTG simultaneous charging. And like I said, I bought four or five different ones and had to return them all based on the manufacturer saying, oh yeah, it'll do it. And it didn't. Um, in the end, this is the unit that you're going to need to go with as far as if you want to put this in the car and not have it kill your tablet I mean you could always unplug the tablet every time you leave the car shut the car off but I want everything to pretty much be you know simple you just shut it off and it goes so that's going to be the end of video one just basically selecting your tablet what you need to to find in your tablet a um, couple other things the GPS module is built into this one as of right now, I have driven around in the Yamaha side-by-side, -side, and even with the roof, um, it, it picks up. I even put this very far down low in the in the side-by-side -side to make sure that it would still pick up a GPS signal, no matter where it was away from the opening, you know, down where your feet in the footwell there on the passenger side, it was still picking up its GPS signal. So as far as that, we should be good. If it didn't pick that up, we'd need to add an external GPS unit. But So you want to find something that's got GPS. Um, most of them have the AM, FM radio locked out so you can't use it in our country. So you're going to have to buy a separate tuner module, which I'll get into. You're going to need to buy a video capture module for your backup camera if you want one. Um, so we'll get into, oh, you're going to need a, a DAC converter, a digital to analog converter. Um, and those are the things we'll start to get into in part two of this series. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I should be back with part two soon. Thanks.